Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Tactical Expedition. Today I want to reintroduce you to my uh, duty patrol rifle. This is a Colt Tallow Edition LT6720R. They only made 1500 of them. I made a video a few years back and uh, I made some changes since then. I live in California and this is for work. So this is uh, registered as a assault rifle. Because of work, I can have one. I think to own this type of rifle in California, uh, you have to have a FFL license or someone like me who uses for work. So the California will let you have one. It's a Colt rifle. It's a M4 carbine right here as it as it indicates on the title nice uh it says cal 556 it takes both 556 and 223 so i use 223 rounds for practice i think colt is very very dependable brand and uh, i think most of the law enforcement uses colt and some uses uh, smith and wesson and other brands but um i think most of the who are law enforcement in united states use colt so from the top there's flash hider and there's a 16 inch barrel but this barrel is special so that is a pencil barrel to save weight keep going down it has the the colt rail system and i put these uh, rubber rubber things on it to uh, make it soft when, when I grip it. And underneath, this is what I changed. It's the finger grip. So index finger out, the pinky will hit the side here. And then you wrap it around and you grip it like that. Continuing on, so all four sides have these rubber, rubber attachments. And also uh, when the rail gets hot, um, this rubber uh, kind of protects your hat. The front side is Troy metal side. The flip up front side. This uh, side is down because I have a red dot system from aim point. So moving down, that's the, the weapons light. It's a Surefire X300. That is super nice and reliable. Um, it's a quick detach um, sling mount. So you just have to clip it in. This doesn't rotate further. So this does, it's not gonna get twisted around. And uh, the, the serial number, it's covered, but it starts with LE, law enforcement. So that is a nice, like kind of like collector's item. It comes with Magpul grip, and down here, they have a little pocket, little switch to get this out. And here, I carry battery, CR123 batteries for a flashlight. I also carry the watch battery for aim point. And here, there's a Magpul under trigger guard. So usually it's it's straight. So when you do chamber check or uh, do manipulation on your rifle, it hurts your finger or pinches it down there. But this makes it smooth and it's wider trigger. So you can, you know, it's more, more room to put your finger in there. Then moving down, this comes with the uh, Rogers super stock, the adjustable stock. So it is nice. Once you activate it, it's a spring tension. Pull it to the length that you want. So I like it one level. And other side, you can like lock it in so it doesn't move accidentally. But when you press the trigger, it unlocks it so you can move it around. So we can talk about the red dot system or scope as you call it. So I chose aim point H1. I believe these are discontinued and now aim point has H2s. This is a two MOA version of a micro H1. I have had this over 10 years and there's zero problems. Battery is still on, it's incredible. So it's only this part up here. Uh, it's called LaRue mount. So LaRue Tactical from Texas, they make these mounts and this mount. So it's a separate mount, but um, we have to carry uh, quick detach mounts. So once there's a damage to my red dot system or optics, uh, you should be able to quickly take these off and then use iron sights. So here, this is locked, but when it says open, so pull it out, push it out, see it's that quick. And it keeps the zero. If you just put it in the same spot, it'll keep the zero. So again, I can put this back. So it says, so like that and then click it and then the zero is there that's it that's simple aim point 3x zoom you can use it like this 
There you go. So when I look down, it looks like that. And once you don't need the three times zoom, but you just need the red dot system, you just pull back and then it goes to the side. So now you can just use the red dot system there. It kind of looks like this with the red dot system. There you go. You can leave both eyes open. And then when you need the zoom, pull this back and then add the zoom. So it's super durable. I've had it over 10 years and still works. And uh, say these things are broken and I have to use the iron sight. So you just flip this on the side and then that's the Troy rear pop-up sight. That's the bigger one, like a ghost ring. But if you want some precision shots, you can switch to the finer point. And it is co-witness to my uh, aim point red dot system basically this is the lightest setup you can do uh, for a police rifle another thing that i carry this is a gps bipod system so that's why i left that open so i can put it right there what this does is there's a button so i can engage the button and it pops out as a bipod so when i go to the rooftop or across the street I use a bipod so I don't have to hold the gun and make it more stable. So, but I don't, I don't attach it because it's too long. And when I carry, carry it around, uh, it hits my body. So it's not that comfortable to carry it around. But some people um, just have this attached here and then use it as a front grip. I chose this system. There you go. Um, this is, uh, I think, Gen 2 Magpul. But I like the window, so I know how many rounds I still have until I have to do a tactical uh, reload for my rifle if uh, my rounds are down. So these are five, five, six rounds. Um, this is not a practice ammo, but it's a real, real thing. Very, very expensive rounds. Thank you for viewing this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I upload tactical videos, car review videos my channel and sometimes uh, travel thank you for viewing this video and see you on the next one